this is a handy dandy unboxing video of the Revision 2 Freezer Pro 7 by Arctic, which is it's a heat TPU heat sink and fan. Um, should give about 15 to 20 degrees better performance over the stock fan and heat sink that comes with your Intel or AMD processors. Um, you can pick this up from eBuyer for around uh, 15 to 20 pounds. I think I've got this one for 16 pounds. Um, the option is to either get this one or there's a Cooler Master version that's slightly uh, slightly better at cooling. Um, I think it's because the, the fan on the Cooler Master one is slightly better, um, but it costs slightly more. So it's up to you really which one you want to get. So the Freezer 7 Pro Revision 2, let's see how it opens. Has it been has it been packaged in a box of death? It's almost like one of those uh, Christmas puzzles that you get in cheap crackers. And here we are. And he's found the entry point to the box. And he opens the box. Coming open now. Looks like he's opened, he's found a weak point, but can he get in? Can he get in? He's loosening the box. Still tight. Oh look, he's found another, he's found another weak point. He's following the logic across. He's found another way in, and there's one on the other side. Pops him open, that's two open, two open. And it's off, it's off the top, it's off the box. Okay, here we go. Into the box. Throw it on the floor. So, I mean, what would you want to see if you were debating buying this? £16. Um, whoops. It comes with a mount. It comes with... Um, it's got the, uh, the, uh, the cooler thermal paste already on the bottom of it, uh, ready to go. Um, nice and protected. You shouldn't take that off until you actually plan on putting it on your computer. Uh, it's got the bracket for all the different... Uh, all the different uh, motherboard types, CPU types, so just double check that yours is the one that you want. Um, it's not too heavy, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick this on my computer now um, and we'll see what performance we get. At the moment, my computer is cooking itself, so anything's better than the stock, the stock heat sink and fan. As you can see, after installing the fan, the temperature's gone down from, it was running about 60 centigrade to 40 when doing nothing, and uh, the maximum's gone down from 97 to 67, 66, and 64. So all in all, for, for the price, it, it works well. It wasn't too much of a pain to install. Um, I noticed when installing it, it's got a, on the fan, it's got a little uh, rubber bracket to stop it vibrating, which is nice. And the uh, power cable for the fan has a nice, um, it, it's wrapped, so keeps the airflow nice in the case and makes it easy to install. Also, you might have noticed that I'm running my i5-2500K um, slightly faster than stock at 4.3 gigahertz, and it's still running way below the uh, required temperatures. So if you're looking to get a little bit of an overclock out of your CPU, then this heatsink's fine for that as well, and maybe you don't need to bother with more expensive options. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Um, I update videos every week or so. Not all hardware videos, just random gaming stuff. So subscribe right away and uh, thanks for watching.